Good morning. From Melbourne. We are walking to the train station to get us into town because as we do in any new city, we are starting off with a free walking tour. Let's go. This is the State Library of Victoria. This building was constructed in 1854, which makes this Australia's oldest public library and also the world's first free public library. This landmark marks the start of our free walking tour and we're going with I'm Free Walking Tours, which is the same company that we used in Sydney. Can't wait. So we are currently at our three-quarter way break. I think it was intended as a halfway break, but we've kind of done the majority of it already. And we are now at the Queen Victoria Centre, which, aside from the name, is just a shopping centre. So far, the tour has talked a lot about the history of Melbourne, and it's very similar to Sydney, which, again, I could relate to that in Canada in the sense that this land was occupied by the Aboriginals for 60,000 years. European settlers arrived and essentially took it from them. They had misunderstandings in terms of their agreement. They thought they were giving them safe passage through. The Europeans thought they were purchasing the land. And that's why you have a lot of Victorian buildings around here because that is the era in which the Europeans settled here in Melbourne. Because that was around the early 1800s, this is quite a new city, so you also have modern buildings here. It's also interesting in terms of kind of the parallels to Canada in the sense of like the feels of the city. There's certainly, having been to both Sydney and Melbourne, then it's very akin to Toronto and Vancouver in a sense, because Toronto's got a fair amount more history as a more administrative capital in the country, and it is seemingly a lot more kind of business focused, whereas this seems to be the more sort of trendy, modern, hip city that has the same appeal as Vancouver. It's been very, very interesting so far to get a feel of this. I quite like it. Can't wait to go on the second half for last quarter of the tour. We've just finished the tour, like with the I'm Free tour that we took in Sydney, then this was incredibly informative. Our guide was fantastic, and it really gave us a proper deep dive into the history of Melbourne, as well as its current culture. And speaking of modern culture, Melbourne is known for its very strong brunch and coffee culture, and that's what we're gonna go get a taste of now. So 
as part of Melbourne Coffee Culture, then Melburnians, as I think they're called, ended up originating a couple of drinks that have since managed to make their way across the world. And those drinks are the Flat White and the Magic. So I've gone for a Flat White, and what it is is espresso mixed with steamed milk. Now the proportion of espresso to milk is different than your typical latte or cappuccino. There's more espresso. And Aussie Magic is very similar, however, it's a specific type of espresso they use called ristretto, which is made with less water, so it's more highly concentrated. And the part that makes it like magic is that they feel as though they have found the perfect combination of ristretto shot with milk, and it's seemingly a little bit less milk than you would have in a flat white. Which means it then looks something like this. Cheers! Cheers. Love it. We make good choices. Love it. For anyone who doesn't know, we are huge coffee fans. We actually have videos on our YouTube channel that review different coffee shops on the west side of Toronto. So I wish we had more time and money to really delve deep into Melbourne's coffee scene and do the same here. 100%. But we did try and not pull quality over quantity, so we did ask our tour guide as to where we went, and that's the reason why we're here and not somewhere else. And after a great first introduction to Melbourne, we are now heading back to our Airbnb to crack on with a spot of work. But we have a super exciting day planned for tomorrow, so we can't wait for that, and we'll pick this back up. Good morning! Today is a very exciting day. Today we are headed to the Australian Open. This isn't going to be my first experience at a Grand Slam because I was able to go to the US Open for a day session 15 years ago. And while I haven't been to a Grand Slam before, I have been to Wimbledon to watch the men's singles final at the London Olympics in 2012. Let's go! Unfortunately, we couldn't show you the end to that match because Atman started cramping really, really badly and so he had to retire. But that just means that we're now on to the second match of the day, which is a women's match. making this day possible. This was such a thoughtful Christmas gift for us. It kind of seemed like a dream come true in the sense that all the other Grand Slams seemed more realistic and this one was just so far away so I never really thought that I'd ever be able to attend it. 
Absolutely. Thanks so much to Judy. How lucky are we that the fates have just aligned that we just happen to be in Australia at the right time to be able to do this. It's just been a really great day and I could not have been happier with the way it's all panned out. And Nick and my style of traveling is going to change from now on. We've officially decided that we're going to base our travels based on where the tennis tour is. Officially. But that brings our time in Melbourne to a close. We will pick this up on our next Australian destination, which we will look forward to showing you in the coming few days. Until next time, though, take care. And keep smiling.